Today, let's explore how the switch case evolved over the years in Java. The switch statement was introduced in Java 1 to replace nested if-else blocks for discrete value checks. Initially, switch supported only primitive types like byte, short, char, and int. Adding a break was crucial. Without it, control would fall through to the next case and you keep wondering why your easy code is not working as expected. Classic switch was statement based, not expression based, so it couldn't return values directly. Java 5 introduced support for enum, then Java 7 added string support for switch. The implementation does use hash code and equals method internally, but remember it is case sensitive and does not work with null. Java 8 didn't change switch at all, but preview features started appearing in Java 12 and 13 and became permanent in Java 14. Now just by replacing a colon with an arrow, we can convert a switch statement to a switch expression and we can now return values directly from switch. This removes the need for break statements. A default case becomes mandatory now because switch expression must be exhaustive and return a value for all input. If we have a multi-line logic, yield lets us return a value from a block. In traditional switch statements, blocks can be used without yield or side effects as usual. Support for multiple labels in a single case was added using commas. This works for both switch statements and switch expressions. We can now use pattern matching with instance of like checks, guard conditions like when and even handle null safely. In Java 21, switch works with record, sealed class and sealed interface using pattern matching. Now do let me know how many of these did you already know. Tell me in the comments, like and share with your Java friends and suggest the next topic also. Thanks.